Thank you so much for this warm welcome. I'm actually so thrilled to be here at this legendary tiny desk studio. And I've seen so many sessions online, especially during the pandemic. And it is quite, such an honor to be here live in person. So thank you very much. Um, I'm performing a few pieces from my current album and uh, touring program, Echoes of Life. And this program is built around the 24 Preludes by Frédéric Chopin, which I'm interspersing with seven contemporary compositions. And together, they somehow remind me of life, our lives that are, in my eyes, also made of many, many little moments, many little preludes that are all connected through us and our experience. And there are joyful and fulfilling moments, but also challenging and sometimes unpredictable moments. The piece I just played was the very last prelude of Chopin's cycle, and it is written in D minor. That is a key that is often used to express grief and mourning. And although we always tend to look for something that's uplifting and healing in moments of pain, I personally find it sometimes helpful when I experience anxiety issues or frustration to let out my emotions in a piece like this that is so full of fury and agony. The next piece is also a prelude by Chopin. I'm only playing preludes today. Is the complete opposite. It is very short, it is charming and innocent, and maybe something like a fragment of a memory. The next piece is not by Chopin, but it is by a dear friend and one of the most fascinating and brilliant musicians of our time, Chili Gonzalez. It is also a prelude, and it is written in the same key as the prelude by Chopin, which I'm playing right afterwards. And although Chili's music is from now, and Chopin's music was written in the 19th century, so more than 200 years apart, I am going to connect these two pieces by playing them back to back as if they were meant to be together. This was a very exciting and interesting uh, process and experiment for me when I was uh, developing my album because by connecting and combining these different compositions from very different times, I realized myself that music actually is timeless and that our perception of music, especially if we perceive music as old, dusty and elite, or if it feels modern, relevant and inclusive to us, depends so much on the context. The Prelude by Chopin, which is also the last piece today, has a title and it is called the Raindrop Prelude. And um, to me, it is an homage to nature. Whenever I play this piece, I think about when I go hiking in the mountains, um, when I'm surrounded by this monumental architecture of nature, all these rocks and stones that are older than us, the sky um, that is so endless above, and the weather that can turn so quickly. And that always makes me realize how small we are, and yet how much damage we can cause. The piece starts with a beautiful and peaceful scenery, and then we see suddenly these dark clouds uh, rising up on the horizon and the air gets charged with electricity and then suddenly we're in the middle of a storm. And when the storm is over, 
we return to this beautiful place, but the world is not exactly the same anymore. Thank you so much for joining me today.
Support for NPR comes from Capital One. 